Hello and thank you everybody for being present today in this channel, in this very video. My name is Alexis Mes. Normally I do um, videos in Spanish, but um, I decided to change things a little bit just like I have done before uh, this is for my viewers the ones that don't speak Spanish but are always somehow supporting me somewhere in back there so I appreciate it guys here's one for you I told the story before um, just in my recent video but I thought you know what maybe I'm just gonna translate it to see how it comes up so here it goes once upon a time in ancient China there were three monks. They were not known for their names. They were not known for uh, their words or any sort of um, ideology. They were only known for their laughter because what they did <clears throat> is they were constantly joking around with each other. They were constantly laughing and they will come to the nearby villages and will simply start laughing or continue their laughter. Sometimes the laughter or the laughter was so, so loud that people from far away were also start to laugh. Now the people started to form circles around them, laughing with them. And only when the entire village was set on a massive laugh did the monks started to walk again to the next village. People will put their words aside. People will, uh, people will put their fights, their arguments, their labor aside and they will simply join in laughter join in for that very moment and enjoy the day along with the monks and laugh 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 as it was something profound far more profound than anything else in life i guess see the monks didn't have any type of teaching any type of prayer or sudra or any type of they didn't have any type of beliefs all they did was laugh enjoy the moment and that's what they brought into every single village they came one day they found themselves again in a nearby village again laughing the three old men were laughing just beautifully like they always did and suddenly <clears throat> one of them falls to falls to the ground and passes away in that moment now the people that were around the the monks, they stopped laughing. The monks, the two remaining monks, continued to giggle and smile as if it was all a joke to them. A lot of people started to spread the rumors that something had changed in the monks, that something was about to happen that the monks that were now that were known for their laughter were soon be sad or soon will be seen crying and they called upon all the people around the village and everybody from far away people actually stopped working they left their fields unattended and came running to witness the scene. It was all just to see the monks cry. 
it had caused them so much wonder in the people what it would be like to see them cry because they were never seen sad. And that's what they had in their mind. When they got to the three monks, two standing still, laughing, one laying on the floor, dead. And suddenly the monks started to laugh, except this time even harder, even louder than before. The entire village, many of them, started to join in in the same ritual as be ritual than, and than before, except this time some became agitated, some became upset, some were even angry at the fact that the monks show no sympathy, no remorse, no mourning. And some started to gather around and started questioning the monks. Why are you not crying? Don't you see your friend is dead? Don't you see he's worth your tears? See, for once, the monks actually stopped laughing. <clears throat> and they try to explain with, the, with giggles and smiles. They said, you see, when you have to enjoy your lives truly, when you have made your life laughing, I have seen all the beauty that it is in here. There is no reason to cry. See, we're not laughing at the fact that our friend is dead. We're only laughing at the fact that he left us laughing the same way as he lived his life. Because to us, laughing is far more important than crying. For us, happiness is far more important than sadness. During the process, the monks requested that the body of his friend not be washed and the clothes not be changed. See, they said, our friend's body is so pure that the filth of this world has never even reached its close. The filth of this wor world has never even touched one single inch of its clothes. Therefore, we must burn his body the way it is. And so they said that body on the funeral pyre and when the flames started to leak the fabric suddenly fireworks start shooting up in the skies creating all beautiful sounds and all the beautiful colors bright colors in the sky the nights had already set in, but with all the fireworks in the sky, it all looked like daytime. And the monks started to laugh even harder and clap. And those who understood the message joined in and started to clap as well. You see, my friends, In life, what matters the most, it's how much you enjoyed, how much you enjoy being alive. In life, what matters the most is being happy 
ironically, but very true. Sadness can take away so much of your life, but happiness, laughter, and smile can multiply it by a thousand times. Good day.